Yesterday, I posted a review of the new Black Series Balin and Shin on my page, and as you can see from this lineup here, they are severely off scale. Shin is way too tall and Balin is way too short. Both figures are actually exactly six inches. I wonder if there was an issue of the factory seeing six inches and thinking that that, that meant the actual size instead of the scale. It's really hard to try to imagine what went wrong here, but these are just so, so off. And I promised you guys that I would look into it and try to find a solution, and I think I actually did. We got Shin down to Sabine's height, and we got Balin up just a little bit taller using two Two cheap fodder figures, no paint needed, no dremeling, no cutting, just a simple boil and pop, which I will teach you how to do in this video. So all I did was replace the thighs from a Costco Reeves figure. You can see how that looks here. I tried the Sabine figure and that actually works better because you don't have the blue showing on the side. You can kind of rotate that inward so it doesn't show and then the color of the pants is actually pretty close, but depending on what poses you're doing, you might see a little bit of that blue pop out. You could always easily paint that just so it doesn't really show up, but you can see just in most poses, if you just have her standing on the shelf, these legs will work fine. And currently the Costco Reeves figure is a lot cheaper than the Sabine figure since the Sabine figure is so new. And then you guys will never guess who I used for Balin after lots of trial and error, including Darth Malik. I ended up using Reva and apparently her her legs are really big and all I did was actually use the right leg on the left and the left leg on the right and then you rotate the thighs around backwards before you put the legs on and that prevents her wide hips from pushing his skirt out a little bit and looking a little bit too feminine so this just gives him that extra little boost of height and then I actually put a little bit of black tack underneath the shoulder pads here to give his shoulders a little bit more breadth and just kind of like balance out the proportions a little bit once we get him up just a little bit taller so to do a part swap if you've never done it before. You just need to get some hot water going. It doesn't need to be boiling. Don't look at my dirty stove. It's been a little bit since I cleaned it. But all you have to do is get water to the point where it's almost boiling. Drop the figure in for maybe like 20 seconds. I love how she's just like sitting in there like she's taking a bath. Ignore the Bo-Katan head. I'm using the Sabine head on a custom. And then carefully take it out of the hot water with some tongs. Let it sit for a few seconds just so you don't burn yourself. And be careful of like hot water drips that may get caught in some of the joints as you're taking these apart. And then this will make the plastic really soft. So all you have to do is really just like pull outward on it and just make sure you don't separate the thighs from the hip there on figures that have that cut there. And then just a little bit of a twist here, making sure to grip the joint so you don't pull out the peg from the knee. And that's all you do. And then so you do that the same with the figures that you're gonna be replacing. And then all you have to do is repeat the process in reverse. Sometimes it's easier if the peg is not warm. Although with legs, they don't get too soft and you just use a bit of pressure to pop it on. It's really that simple. If you haven't tried this before, I highly recommend giving it a go. Sometimes I just microwave a cup of water for like 90 seconds and stick the figures in up to the waist. It kind of gets the trick done without having to get a pot going. You'll also notice that I changed out Balin's blade of his lightsaber. I don't know actually which figure I used, but it was just in my fodder bin in pretty much any character with a red saber that you might have lying around. If you got that Star Killer pack, you can maybe use the spare saber there. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. What do you guys think? Does it, I know it's not like quite exactly right. I think Shin should be a little bit smaller and Balin should be bigger, just like in their heads and their actual bodies. But this is just enough to take the edge off for me and make these feel like they belong in the same toy line as each other and as the other figures in the Ahsoka series. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you do the swap yourself or find <coughs> If you find a better recipe, please let me know. It's a little bit trickier since you have to use kind of figures from the last couple years since they have the different knee pegs instead of the ones that had the double jointed legs. So please let me know in the comments below how this goes for you. And please tag me on Instagram if you do the swap yourself and post a photo. Make sure you check out my reviews of these figures as well as Merrick R5 and the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. I do have a video fixing Merrick up on the way. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that as soon as it goes live. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.